Okay, so why did I even show that to you? It really has nothing to do with whether your business is interconnected, systemization, or does it? Part of what I'm gonna talk about today are different technologies that I use within my business to keep it systemized and interconnected. And that's what we're talking about, is how to actually systemize your business so that you can push a button and walk away from it. You can go on holidays and you don't have to worry about whether you're communicating with your client. We're gonna talk about being better, being a better agent. Not being better as an industry, because I think that being better as an industry starts with the individual. I think we could all agree on that. Being better as an agent, as an individual, as a marketer, as a salesperson, means you're delivering what you say you're going to deliver to your clients on a consistent basis. And so what we want to do in order to be able to plan that system is we want to plan the process and utilize certain technologies within our business to be able to systemize it. So some of the technologies I'm going to be talking about today are Basecamp. How many people in the room have heard of Basecamp? A couple people. Good. Basecamp is a software that most real estate agents have never heard of. And they've never heard of it because most real estate agents look within the industry for certain technologies to apply to their business. And I'm here to tell you guys today to stop doing that. Start looking outside the industry. Start looking at different industries that have certain technologies that are going to help improve your business, help improve the planning of your business. And so we start with planning the process. So the biggest thing, so I just, I, I've recently made a move. Um, they, they, I redid the write-up. I'm you know, a partner with uh, Redline Real Estate Group, the chief operation, operations officer. Part of the reason why they brought me in to that brokerage was because I'm a systems guy. I've got my business completely locked down. These guys do not. And they don't because they've never actually sat down and thought about what the buyer's journey is and what the seller's journey is. These three wheels up here are actually the three pillars of the company that I had previously, which was Up Real Estate Group. And the three pillars are humanize, innovate, and experience. Everything that we do within our business model revolves around the client, revolves around humanizing the transaction. So I showed you guys that video. Most of the people in this room have never met me before. You don't know who I am. You don't know what I'm about, but you watched a, a three and a half minute video, and now you guys know that I'm funny as hell, right? I'm massively good looking, and I'm very well spoken, and I like to swear a lot, which I've actually promised not to do here today at least not in this room, when we go to the breakout session. I can't promise what's going to happen there, but you just never know. So what we want to do is take the client experience and put that at the forefront and determine what that buyer's journey is. And so these three pillars of Up Real Estate Group, and what we'll do is we'll transition this over to Redline as well, humanize, innovate, experience. So humanizing, enhancing the partner, advise, and full access to the knowledge that we have as agents. Innovate. So we're educating, we're streamlining our business, we're looking at different software and systems to implement into our business so that the experience for the client becomes that much better. So if you guys are carrying one listing, if you're carrying five listings, if you're carrying 15 listings, how many of you are calling your clients every single day right now? Nobody. Ask that question in Stratford. Nobody put up their hands. I asked that question in Burlington. Nobody put up their hands. Do you know why? Because it's ridiculous to think about that. It's ridiculous to think that I'm going to pick up the phone and call my client every single day to tell them what I'm doing to service their property. It's ridiculous. But what if I told you that there's a way that you could do that without having to pick up the phone? What if I told you that there's a way to be better? There's certain expectations that your clients have. Now, I didn't hear the entire consumer panel. It sounds, it sounds to me like these guys weren't very... Uh, they were like very happy with their agents. In Stratford, there were people that weren't happy with their agents, and I really like those panels because at least then we get to learn from what the consumer's expectations are. If it were me selling my house, I'd want to know what the hell my agent is doing to service my listing. I want to know exactly what they're doing to get my property sold. I want to know what the marketing plan looks like. And I want, to, I want that communicated to me on a regular basis. 
You guys can't make that phone call every single day. But I can tell you that in my business, when I list a property, my clients are getting an email from me almost every single day. And it's telling them exactly what we're doing to market their property. And that's by using software that's not within our industry. There isn't a piece of software that exists today within the real estate industry, with the exception of one or two, that would allow you to have that type of communication with your client, to show them and to tell them exactly what it is that you're doing on a regular and consistent basis to get their property sold. Now, going back to the video, again, you guys have no idea who I am, what I'm about, the type of business that I run, the fact that I'm the world's greatest dad, that I've got these great twins. You just think that I'm funny as hell, right? My clients also only know me for, what, a couple of hours? When I sit down with them at a listing appointment, we go through the listing contract, we get everything signed. They still don't really have that affinity with me. And I think that we could probably all agree on that. If I get a lead online and I call that lead and I get that appointment and then I go in and I list that property, they're maybe seeing me for a maximum of two to three hours. I don't really have that opportunity to build that affinity with them, that opportunity to get that face time with them. And so another one of the systems that I've created or that I'm using within my business is called BombBomb. Bomb. And if you guys come and visit me today at 325 this afternoon, we'll be talking about all of these systems and how we actually implement. I've got the checklist on Basecamp. If you stick around, give me your business card, I will send you the checklist so that if you do wind up using something like this, you don't have to recreate the wheel. I show you exactly the drip campaigns that I utilize within BombBomb, Bomb, the video emails that I send out to my clients on a consistent and regular basis. So come by at 325 to get that information. And so with video, we're able to, to create that affinity, to continue that conversation, to continue to get in front of our clients on a regular basis. Because here's another thing, is that you guys aren't visiting your clients every single day, or every week, or every two weeks, or every month. You put the sign in the front yard, and that's basically it. A lot of agents will put the sign in the front yard, and you don't hear back from them until it's time to reduce the price. But what if I told you that there's a piece of technology out there that it would allow you to start that conversation from day one? I know you guys are in a completely different market than where we're at right now. We're in a, in a bit of a declining market. We went from a very hot market last year. We're now into a buyer's, or sort of into a buyer's market, balanced buyer's market within Calgary. And so when the, when the market shifts, the days on market goes up, the more, the, sorry, the better we have to be with our communication plan. And so if I've got a property that I know is, a little bit, is priced just a little bit high, I know that I'm gonna have to have that conversation with my client at some point in the future to talk about making that adjustment. And so I can get in front of that client on a consistent basis, utilizing video, and start using that type of language. Hey guys, it's Kelly. You know, we're a week on the market. Uh, just wanna let you know that uh, you know, things are going well as far as the marketing plan. By now, you should be getting a lot of the uh, communication that, that, we're, you know, that we're doing as far as, our, as the marketing is concerned. If you have any questions, please give me a call. At some point in the future, we may have to sit down and have a discussion about making an adjustment. Right, so I'm already planting the seed about meeting with the client, about making an adjustment to their price. You guys can't do that on a regular and consistent basis unless you're meeting with them face-to-face, -face, week in and week out. So again, planning the process, systemizing your, your business, and working that process and planning out that system around the client and the way the client wants to be treated. So a system is a, a, set of work, a set of things working together as parts of a mechanism or an interconnecting network. All of these different technologies that I'm using don't necessarily talk to each other, but they talk to the most important piece of the puzzle, and that's the client. They talk to them on a regular and consistent basis. So in designing a system and planning the process, what you should be doing is sitting down and identifying what the buyer's journey looks like. Not high level, but what does the buyer's journey look like within your own business plan? How do you service that client on a regular basis? What does the seller's journey look like? Are you one of those agents that goes and plants a sign in the front yard and then they don't hear from you again for 30 days? Great, tell me how that's gonna go in the next five years. 
Because I can guarantee you with the millennials, with the Amazon generation coming up, they aren't gonna put up with that nonsense. We have to be better as individuals, as business people, and we have to start treating our clients like we would wanna be treated. I would wanna be communicated with. I wanna be told what my agent is doing for me on a regular and consistent basis. And so we utilize some of these technologies. Obviously, I work with Repri. You know, Repri is one of the systems that I use as far as being uh, paperless is concerned, BombBomb Bomb and Basecamp. Again, 325 this afternoon, we'll be talking about all three of those. So how many moving parts do you need to have within your business? Again, they don't all have to talk to each other, but there needs to be some sort of planning in place. And I've basically, you can't Google this. This isn't out there. I've come up with this. I've built this myself. These are the three pillars of creating a system. Communication, transaction management, and being or going paperless. How many people in the room right now consider themselves paperless? One person, two people, half paperless? Wow. That is insane. There's a different way to do business, you guys. There's a different way to be efficient. Going and being paperless is the most efficient way to run your business. And if you don't believe me, we actually wrote a case study on this about six or eight months ago on one agent in our local market that was able to double her business from 2013 to 2014. And it wasn't because our market was going insanely crazy, it was because she was ridiculously efficient. She'd be driving to an appointment, she'd get a phone call from a client, Karen, it's Jimmy, I'd like to write an offer on that property. Okay, great, I'm just driving to an appointment, let me call you back in five minutes. Gets pulled over, does up the offer, pulls out her tablet, does up the offer, sends it to the client for signing, gets a copy sent back to her, fires it off to the listing agent, starts negotiations, starts driving again to her next appointment. That is how she was able to double her business inside of 12 months, because she was absolutely ridiculously efficient by being paperless, by managing the transaction from whatever device she chooses. There's absolutely no way, with the exception of the three people in the room that put up their hand that, are, that do consider themselves paperless, there's absolutely no way that if you were driving to an appointment to show six houses, that you'd be able to service your client at the same time. You'd have to go to the office, you'd have to print off that offer sheet, you'd have to go to your client, you'd have to write it all up, you'd have to go back to the office, you'd have to fax it or scan it and email it, right? Who uses a fax machine anymore, you guys? Seriously. Think about your business. Think about being better. Think about being efficient. Efficiency, systemization, these two things alone will help to increase the amount of business that you do. Creating a system is about creating an excellent client experience that's plug and play. Push a button, walk away from it. Okay, so 325 today, breakout number three. If you wanna come by and check out exactly how I'm utilizing those three systems, so Repri, BombBomb, bomb. I'll break down the drip email campaigns that I use. If you guys want, I can email you some of the videos, some of the, some of the examples. I actually have a video in my presentation that I can show you guys. Basecamp, I've got the checklist already built. If you want a copy of the checklist, you leave me your business card, I fire you off a link to the checklist. And that's it. It's time to be better. We can do better as agents to service our clients, and we do that by being systemized within our business. Come see me at 325 this afternoon.